All right. Nightmare of Decay. It's got a nice Unity default menu. And a confident version 1.0. Zero patches, they're not necessary. The game is already perfect. That's what one that's what version 1.0 and no additional patches tells me is that they are confident. It's already perfect. We don't need another patch. It's a power move. New game. I think we play on normal because I'm almost positive that uh, hard would, would either A, limit my saves because this is, all, this is inspired by like old school Resident Evils, or it's going to be a, a just sponges, just health sponges for enemies. So I think we just do what is default. Normal streamer. Cancel. <laughs> How hard is cancel? Uh, it doesn't work. Okay, we're gonna play normal. I want to be a normal gamer. That dude's got a face. Yes. <laughs> 23-year-old Judith Glasgow was reported missing yesterday evening. She's described as Caucasian, 5 feet 7 inches tall, with a slim build and long brown hair. Is she, was, she was last seen in her apartment after being escorted home by her friends following a late night out clubbing. Police searched her apartment and interviewed neighbors, but have been unable to find any clues leading to her current whereabouts. Oh. Close friends and relatives say that Glaslow has been complaining about frequent nightmares and hallucinations since the day before she went missing. It's unknown if these had anything to do with her disappearance. Glaslow is the latest in an alarming number of recent disappearances that have local residents spooked. Authorities say there have been over 10 missing people reported in the last week. Police have been unable to find any new leads in their investigation of the disappearances and implore anyone with information to call the missing persons investigation unit at... <gasps> what the hell just happened to my TV? Why is it, why is it all black and stuff? That's not how it works. You turn off the TV. Oh, never mind. I clicked it. You've been having terrible nightmares recently, and watching the news about these disappearances is just going to make them worse. It's getting late, and you're already feeling pretty tired. You should eat dinner and take a shower before going to bed. You're pretty sure that there was a leftover slice of pizza in the fridge. But my title was a made-up joke. <laughs> My, 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 my turtle was just made up. I didn't think there'd be a pizza in the fridge. How the hell did the game know that? Scripted joke? Yeah, I scripted it. I, in fact, do know there's a pizza because I looked at the reviews for the game and everyone was like, Hee-haw! Pizza! Chaotic fridge. What a fucking sad fridge. Oh my god. That's my fridge? I live... Oh, that is sad. <laughs> like six bottles of beer that aren't even all in the same spot. An unwrapped single slice of pizza on a plate. And like eggs. And two bananas. In the fridge. Why are the bananas in the fridge? Bananas don't need to be in the fridge. That's like putting onions in the fridge. Because I think it's worse for the bananas. Like potatoes. <laughs> this is the this is the I got to run out of space in my fridge for all my potatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah, you're not supposed to. There's a lot of things you don't need to put in the fridge. I can use this to heat up food. Okay. How do I do? Oh. Yep, this is a this is the inventory of any true American. Uh, we have my treasure, my guns, my health care that shouldn't be there. My 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 money, my keys, and my papers. 
<laughs> this is my pizza. A cold slice of pizza. At least this person's not a complete sicko. He heats up his pizza. Go ahead. Get that pizza in the- get that pizza in there! No! You're gonna keep that in there for four minutes?! It's done. There must have been some kind of time warp. 420, baby. Chat, we just channeled a cursed... <laughs> Dude, imagine just... Just truly, like, full power biting into the pizza without, like, aiming for the sides at any point in the whole process. Just, like, three bite, <laughs> full slice. That's how that's how I do it sometimes. I fold the pizza, though. I, I do, like, the fold, where you, like, fold it, the, the and, like, you eat it that way. So it becomes sort of like a, you know, you know. You, I hate that. Look, he was ravenous. The real curse is that I think... By doing this combination of pulling a single slice of pizza on a plate, putting it in the microwave for 4 minutes and 20 seconds, we have guaranteed a curse upon us. We are cursed. No. Even if the fine thing says otherwise, I believe we've just uh, received some kind of a curse. Toilet still works, baby. Oh yeah. Let's take a shower. Hey, dude, you want to heat up the shower before you, uh... Okay, he's gonna do it completely cold. Dude, some people are fucking sickos. First of all, the pizza thing. Second of all, remained fully clothed as he got in the shower ice cold. That, or he was naked from the start. You know, when I go into my all items section, I don't see anything in it about clothes. At all. What the hell? Why you? Why did you do that? Well, I don't think my character would be naked if he had a window with no fucking blinds on it right next to his like sofa. Which, by the way, insane to not have blinds on your windows. As soon as you turn off the TV, you suddenly notice in the reflection of the TV screen that there's someone standing behind your sofa. You turn around and see a large man staring at you with a crazed smile on his face. His hoarse breathing echoes throughout the room. Whose head is that? The man's holding the decapitated head of a woman. The thoughts of the recent disappearances come to mind and a cold chill runs up your spine. And the next moment, the man fades away just as suddenly as he appeared. You must be more tired than you thought if you're starting to hallucinate. And maybe eating that pizza before bed was not the best idea. Maybe also heating that pizza, that single one slice of pizza up for four and a half minutes, may not have been very good for the molecular structure of it, and maybe you partially poisoned yourself. Anything could happen. A good night's sleep should help to refresh your mind. You hope that you don't have another nightmare tonight. I've- I've irradiated the pizza. I'm too tired to play games right now. Guess I'll save. Cool. It's only 10.30? God, this guy's cringe. <sighs> Who goes to sleep at 10.30? What are you, a dork? Turn off your PC, dude! No blinds. Welcome to Nightmare of Decay. Thank you. Thanks. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> He used his fucking head. <laughs> Dude, I hope if I ever get buried alive, I'm badass enough to break out of the coffin with my fucking head. Like, I want to really scare whoever did it to me. I want to, like, headbutt the fucking coffin open and then charge someone head first. The hell are we? Someone... Someone's that way. Uh... I think. 
Can I leave? Escape. The gate won't budge. It looks like I need to find another way out of this place. All right. Cat? You see a cat sitting on the railing at the top of the stairs. It stares at you with unnaturally intelligent eyes. What's up? The cat greets you, and strangely enough, you can understand what it's saying. I hate it when animals talk. <laughs> Looks like the nightmare has claimed yet another victim. What? <laughs> Many have been brought here against their will, only to meet a terrible end one way or another. No one has ever managed to escape alive. The cat pauses to look you up and down, almost as if to appraise you of your worth. It seems unimpressed. Been there. <laughs> I wonder how long you'll be able to last. Not long, if I had to make a guess. It'll be fun to see how you meet your end in this horrible place. Maybe one of the monsters will get you, maybe you'll go insane and yourself. Well, I gotta go, good luck stranger, try not to die. Bye. -bye. Dude, I'm not gonna die. That's blood. Dude, I'm not gonna die like that last guy who died. That's a... No, 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 knife. I'm not gonna die like the last guy, dude. Trust me. Now that I got this survival knife, the door's being held closed by a rusty old padlock. I could probably break the padlock if I hit it with something. Dude, just like my role model, the lock picking lawyer, I have lock picked this lock. God, that, that, what a rush. Lock picked. <sighs> He's not wearing shoes. He's completely shoeless. What the hell is that thing? Should I leave? Was he, he seems to be confused which way he wants to approach me. Ah! Ah! Uh -oh. ah! Uh -huh. ah! Just die already! He's leaving. No, nope, he's coming back. Ah! 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 Damn! Double tap him, you wanna make sure he's actually dead. I'm not gonna stop attacking him until his head blows up, because that's how I know he's dead. Chad, I'm not gonna stop attacking him until his head completely comes off his body. Look, his head's like jerking around. That's how I know he's taking damage still. One more swing. Okay, I'm done. All right. Now this one. Don't get up. It's the mutilated body of a man. He's been partially eaten and stabbed many times. Manaki. Well, well, well. A pistole. Am I this convinced the zombie's gonna get back up that I'm willing to put a bullet in his head and hope that that blows it up? Don't get up. Promise. <laughs> it's officially fail RP if you get up now, dude. There we go. Now I've got bindings. The door is stuck and won't budge. Oh, I have to actually go back out to the front. Well, it's been a pleasure. Hold up. <gasps> I knew 
I should have stabbed him another eight to twelve times. Because I could tell, I could just tell from a mile away that bastard was still alive. You guys told me to stop. It's your fault that now that zombie is loose. It's truly your fault. I'm... Oh no, this game has cry of fear Simon levels of stamina, dude. I'm in. <coughs> I'm in. Here we are, inside the manor. I love that picture. Dude, I'm just gonna be honest. This picture is fucking metal as shit. That's like the best art piece to be made of anyone ever. Like, that, who, the guy who made this one, it, it, it's like the story behind it and everything is just so fucking much, dude. <laughs> like, it's just such a, it's such a whole thing, that one. Thanks. Thank you. And let's go ahead and heal my- save my game. I didn't take any damage, so I don't need to heal. I bind it? No. Well, let's, uh, pick a way to go. I have a map? Of everything? Kronos having a snack. Goya 1979. Well. There's no zombies here, which is epic. To my knowledge. Let's collect some secret treasures within these lovely display cases and vases. Everyone knows you hide your bullets inside the vases. What is this? Coin-shaped indents. There are a number of coin-shaped indents above the fireplace. An old farmer, tired from a day of hard labor, falls asleep under the shade of a tree while his loyal dog watches over him. I see. Well, I suppose I shall head inside of this room here. Nope. I don't like long hallways. I get a bad, I get a bad feeling about long, scary hallways. So we're going to go this way. It's quiet. Pistole ammo. And a recipe for acid. Access to some areas of the manor have been obstructed by a strange, fleshy growth. Lord William has tasked me with finding a solution to this issue. I've discovered that a mixture containing equal amounts of lanolim, odizan, and aquaverum can be used to create a corrosive acid that can dissolve the fleshy growth and regain access to the previously obstructed areas. Okay, I just need to mix some acid and collect the, the stuff. Not like I know where I need to go yet. Looks like these chefs were in the middle of cooking something. And it's inside the pantry. It's the door to the pantry. The faint stench of rotting meat is coming from behind it. You try to open it, but it won't budge. After a moment, a rough voice suddenly calls out to you from the other side. Is someone there? Please, I need help. I've actually locked myself in here and I can't get out. Well, I've been stuck in here. My precious collection has been rotting away. I must escape so that I can find fresh... So I can add fresh toys to it, please, we can help each other. You wish to get in, I wish to get out. The key to the door should be somewhere in the manor. It's a large blue key with the word pantry carved into it. Please hurry, I do not wish to spend another moment stuck in here. My collection is rotting away. All right. Oh, there's the chef. And not one, not two, not three, but four or five, six, seven. Man, this fucking manor had a big fucking cooking team. Uh, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> the zombies, hang on, what if I go back? How bad is it if I go back? Still bad. I'm gonna have to kill this guy. I have a gun. 
I missed instantly. I gotta like stand still to aim in this game. It's got like Deus Ex aiming. Hang on. Pew. Scared him. Pew. Scared him. Pew. And give the line, zombie. Into the. That one's not coming back to life. And then we can just melee this one. Dex build. Ah! 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 All right. All right, that's it. Stabbing doesn't work. I've decided as of now, stabbing is not good against zombies. Person dancing. Looks kind of like just like chat smiling. Is that, is that death? Is that guy with like a skull for a face? I mean, here's the thing. There may have been something inside of that fancy room that the chefs were in. And there's also bullets. I truly, this is just a bad idea. The, the kitchen's a bad scene. I don't think we can just do the kitchen yet. Look, let's double back. Let's check out, let's just check out this room right here. Yeah, let's. Oh. Some king's bust. It's the bust of a kingly man dressed in armor. Present the king with his golden crown and defeat his loyal guards to open the way forward. Is it fair if I kill the guards now with bullets? <clears throat> I can literally see a nose. This person's absolutely in there. All right, I don't think I can yet, but I tried. Who? Thanks. Dude, what even is your weapon? Some stupid fucking string? Oh, it's a bow. I see now, it's a bow. Can I cut the string early? I can't. It's a dead end then? This is a dead end, but certainly beyond it is the secrets of this horrible manor. We simply have to press on beyond the puzzles this manor has presented to us. And we will find the answers we seek. But for now, we shall go this way. Yes. Ominous. Good news is I'm not going upstairs. I just heard, like, something thump. I think it's in the ceiling. I heard it again. They're outside. Why don't you just come through all way already? We both know you're gonna. I don't want to heal yet. Mm. Now I do. Oh my god. Well, 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 what do we have here? Just in time! Just in time! Just in time, everyone! Come in, line up! What? Oh, never mind. He's dead. I got him. Oh, the shotgun does good work. They're, they're getting scared. Oh, yeah. This shotgun takes care of them. No problem. No problem, Chad. This is exactly what we needed. Let's roll. Actually effective weapon. Yeah, the pistols are never good in Resident Evil style games, Chad. We know this. But it's good to have a shotgun. I do need to go save at some point. This game doesn't have automatic saving. So if I get, like, killed, it's over. Hey, stop. 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 I wish that killed him. Toilet. Still works. Thank God. Thank goodness I was worried. But this room is nothing. There's nothing in here but this glass, this window. I mean, mirror. 
I automatically assume it's like a breakable thing though. It isn't. This was just a bathroom. Why does this manor have urinals? No, like why? This is a ma this is someone's house. Why does this person's house have a public bathroom in it? I mean, I guess because they have servants. Why don't you have one? You're right. I'm a man. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be strange for me to have one. Now that I think about it. No one would question if I had one. Pistols suck. But I'm already running low on shotgun shells. Why don't you just die already, you undead bastard? Hang on one second. I said. Why don't you just Why don't you just die already, you undead freak? Hi, I'd like your head to blow up. I don't think I feel like you're just gonna come back to life by own whatever. Only a men's bathroom, huh? I guess unisex. Oh, save point. I'll take that. Some pistol ammo. And the way upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs yet. I don't think I want to go up there yet. You have to do the Chris stomp. Dude, look. The Chris stomp in Resident Evil was... I don't even think that anyone from Resident Evil can stomp. Because I've, I've forgotten. Because the only stomp I think about in video games is like Dead Space style. Okay. More games need to add a Dead Space tier. Oh! Gigantic slam to the ground. Or I don't even want to use the button. Okay. I want to have Isaac scream and go, oh! And then like fucking... St explode someone's entire body with his foot. Please die. This guy looks like he's like a coach. Look at his like fucking polo thing. Okay, that one's also not gonna have his head blow up. Uh, well. You got the coin. We've explored this wing aside from this one room, which was the chef room. We haven't, we, have, we didn't check that because there was just, I mean, I guess I could go do it now. I have a shotgun with six rounds. I can kill all the chefs and check that room. There might be something in it we need. I can handle this, don't worry. There was something, ow! I do need this, I got it. It's a bloody sack. Oh. That's less impressive than what I was hoping for. What? Hey. The chefs are all dead. Minus this one. I might as well kill this guy because I'm going to have to... Wow, dude. My aim. Do you think this would be the easiest game ever to aim in? And you'd be right. It's simply that I suck. Reloading! And with this, the kitchen is saved, and I can investigate the dumb waiter. The platform is stuck in the shaft. Maybe I can dislodge it from above. Really? Dumb waiter memo added. The damn dumb waiter is broken again. I was sending up the pantry key to the second floor. The pa platform got stuck in the shaft on the way up. Now no one can get into the pantry until the stupid lift is fixed. Lord William is going to be furious. Maybe dropping something heavy into the shaft from the second floor will be enough to dislodge it. You mean something like perhaps a sack of meat? We gotta get up there. The sack of meat is the key. It's the key to all of this, Chad. The sack of meat is the key to all of this. It's surprisingly heavy and has quotations around the word meat so we don't really know what it is. It has to solve all of our problems somehow. Unsolved environmental puzzles can be reset by exiting and re-entering an area. That's that is ominous. No, 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 this guy's a fucking idiot. No, he's one of those idiots that doesn't know how to use his hands to pull things. No, no, no! This guy's a fucking buffoon! We'll worry about that later. 
Let's fix the dumbwaiter. <laughs> Fixed it. You can tell because it turned green. The platform was stuck in the shaft and has been dislodged and has fallen to the bottom. Okay. How? I. How? What do you mean, how? I threw a heavy sack inside of it, which dislodged it. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Are you. What are you, a nitwit? Or do you mean the pulling? Because uh, I don't have fingers. I have a little. I have, uh. I have just like. Kind of like Minecraft Steve style stump hands. I have no fingers. I simply have the palms. So I I can't do things like pull things. I need fingers to do that. The door is locked. The shape of a club has been carved into the lock. We're not getting in there unless we have the club key. This I thought my actual bathroom in my house was bad. This is this is some new level of like just awful. Tiles on the ground. Checker tiles. Sort of yellowing wall tiles and then wallpaper for half of it. And then concrete for the ceiling. And a single like no fan to deal with moisture. And a big tub. Hello? <laughs> Get on, dude! I'm flushing his brain down the toilet now. Death is the only way out. That's an easy solution to this video game. <laughs> well, that makes this a lot easier. Oh no. It's an open vent that I can crawl through, but it's too high and I can't reach it. You all think I need to slowly. <laughs> Almost there. Just one more push and we are aligned. This was a hard puzzle. See, I personally chat welcome easy puzzles in my video games because the alternative is everyone laughing Omega oh, lol he doesn't get it. I'm go do I even want I'm going in it. Oh, man. I'm in the I'm in this I'm in a room. Where am I? Oh. I'm pretty close. Bar a jar of lanolin. I needed that. That's one of the things I need for the acid. We got lanolin. Hello. What's happening? What happened? I heard some rumbling, but nothing else happened. Wow, people really fucking showed up really fast into my room. That, there, there was a sudden influx of guys. You're not dead. <laughs> you're not. You're faking it. I played Dead Space. You damn dumb. Get up. Get up now. Oh, I stomp on him. That guy was alive. You can tell by the way his body moved. Hello? Hello? Oh. 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 It's that fucking cat. Someone tried to throw it in the washing machine. Ha ha ha. Or drying machine. I think this is a washing. I don't know. This is like old school. This is a this is this is a washing machine, right? No, this is a drying machine. This is dryer. This is a dryer. No, it's a washer. I, I don't care. Are you alive? You have collision, so you must be. Why haven't you gotten up? You're not fooling anyone. Get up. Huh. Like, you saw me kill your friends. Why wouldn't you just get up at that point? Oh. Just die. 
die already. Ow, 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 ow! I actually need to, like, not die. I, I, I can't let myself die, dude. It hurts! Stab resistant skull, yeah. Hey. Thanks for freeing me from that washing machine. Who knows how long I would have been stuck in there if you hadn't come along. I saw something shiny in the machine and I went to get it, but the lid closed on me and I couldn't get out. I managed to get the shiny thing that was inside. I ate it. <laughs> Just like my cat. I saw a shiny thing and I fucking ate it. I put it right inside my mouth. I need to go to the vet. Take me there. Pay money for it. Take me to the vet now. Since you saved me, I'll give it to you. Here, take it. Wow. Thanks. It's a coin. I fucking killed every single person in this goddamn room. It better be empty. There's one more guy. How did he even open the door? Man. I'm out of here. We have no reason to talk. I mean, I guess I might as well explore this way. Wait, but I never did that. Fuck. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. Don't really want to spend ammo on you. Just ignore me. Ignore me. All right? It's locked. I need the club key. It's an old grandfather clock. There's a keyhole that can be used to unlock the face covering. I see. Uh, um. <gasps> 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 We made it by. They're just zombies, chat. It seems like this is like a classic Resident Evil style thing, so it's just gonna be zombies. There's not gonna be anything new coming at us. It's gonna be zombies. Which is nice and lovely. I knew you weren't fucking dead. Who are you even trying to fool? How many people live in this fucking mansion anyways? Okay. I just want to not miss, man. <laughs> Don't fucking bite me. Stop. Oh. I won. I felt like I was losing. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a god. I just, I understand what it's like to play in a game like this. You know? I just, I understand. Health drank. You blew out their heads with the voice. That one hasn't noticed I'm here. Okay, hang on. Easy. Here we are. We cleared this whole area minus a club key we need. Looks like it's time to enter the other wing of the building. Uh, my asthma's really acting up though, is the problem. Dude, one of these days, I have to answer, I can't, I will never stop getting calls from this fucking car dealership that I showed interest to one time fucking like eight, like, like three months ago and they've never stopped calling me daily to like ask if I want to buy a car still. I haven't answered because I like wasting their time and it makes me feel good because I know that they are actively leaving a real message every single time. Uh, but one of these days I am just going to answer on stream and fucking yell. Like, I swear, because they keep doing it. Chris Morpho, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Same... The same fucks who sold the car you told them you'd buy with money? Yes. The exact same. That's why I've been wasting- That's why I've been happy to let them continue to waste their time calling me. Because I have them set for spam. I don't even get the fucking call. I don't know why they haven't noticed. They get automatically hung up on the second they call every time. But they still leave messages. Like, they get- They don't get a ring. They get automatically sent a voicemail every single time. And then I have my voicemail not save their messages. Tear-stained note added to your document. 
William has been acting strangely ever since we moved into this manor. He's been spending all of his time in the basement doing God knows what. Probably gaming, uh, making model trains or something ridiculous. I tried asking him about it, but he became angry and confrontational. I fear we may be drifting apart. I hate this place. We never should have come here. He's been playing Elden Ring. Dude, I hope not. A lock is simple. I could probably unlock it with a lockpick. Does a shotgun count as a lockpick? Oh, yeah. It's just like a lockpicking lawyer. I need an actual lockpick. Nice painting. Everyone keeps their bullets in the uh, vases. We know this. Well, we're gonna go this way. What the fuck? In one of the rooms of my manor, I want a... An old school style... Sh like one of those, one of those um, fucking carnival games. It's like the duck one where like the ducks go by and you like shoot at the little ducks as they go by with the BB gun. Dude. I love these. This is a fucking kick-ass manor. If it wasn't for the zombies. Try to get as high of a score as possible within a lot of time. Score points by hitting red targets. Okay, time can be extended by hitting the blue targets. Dude, I'm going to absolutely thrash this. Watch. Hang on. This is infinite ammo. I'm never going to use another gun ever again. Bing. 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 Oh my god! It's not easy! It's not easy, I changed my mind. Damn, that one's like ridiculous. I'm never gonna run out of time. That five is just a trap. It's a trick. It's a trick. It's too fast for my eyes. Seems like I'm never gonna run out of time. <laughs> Why did I even Im bother embarrassing myself with that? Again? I've got bad. I've got brain latency. I can't hit that one. I'm never gonna run out of time. <laughs> I just gotta not follow the five. I gotta position myself under it. That's how we do it. Easy. Easy, dude. This game isn't hard. This game isn't hard, man. It's not. I've gotten amazing. I'm I'm streaming. Yeah, I'm kind of streaming now. Now it's streaming. <gasps> my my talent is fading away. What even is the high score I need to beat? Looks like it was something in the hundreds. Yeah. I'm officially losing my skill. It's finally happening. Why? 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 I'm fine. Fine. I'm gonna win. Never mind. I just did. Oh! Huge. I would dare say colossal. So easy. That's 200. I only came to this haunted mansion to beat this old fuck's high score. Easy, man. Wow. All I had to do was beat 150? Sad. 
I'll be keeping the BB gun. You'll never beat my score anyway, so I'll just be taking this with me. A lockpick. Why? We needed that. I'll be keeping the BB gun. I don't think you're gonna need it. <laughs> I'm in. Wow. They gave me dynamite. I should hope this means no one else is gonna play around with me. You're not gonna make any more jokes. All right, cuz just so you know, I'm crazy. And I will light this thing up if anyone picks on me anymore. I'm done playing. Did these all get scarier? Did these one did these ones always used to be kind of scary? Save my game. How much damage does this do? I'm actually fine. Load my game. I don't even feel it. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Oh, I got another room to check over there. Fine. I'm fine. It says danger, but that doesn't mean I'm in danger. That just means I gotta drink some- I gotta sip some- sip, sip some of my potion. Shit dynamite. Yeah. Locked from the other side. Where the hell do I game? I've run out of places to go. Oh never mind. Oh my god. It's alright. <laughs> We're just gonna startle the dogs away. We're just gonna just gonna startle them. We're not gonna hurt them. A loud noise will startle him away. Get off my lawn! Now! It worked! Nice. That was more than startling them? Well, I would say they got startled. I would- I would argue that one thing they are is startled. Matter of fact, this may be the most startled they've ever been. Dude, they were eating this guy. What do you want from me? They, and you know what they're not gonna do now is come back to- they had evil red eyes. Don't even fucking try to act like these were good dogs. Dogs don't have evil red glowing eyes. Evil. Something wrong there. Still glowing. After I killed them. Cool, cool. We got everything we need. Let's get inside that cabin. Find out the true secret of this horrible, cursed manor. What dark secrets await us inside the- Never mind. It's fucking locked. It's locked with just, like, a door. Do I have any keys that I don't know of? Nope. I have officially ran out of places to go, and I'm now stuck. I no longer have options to progress. I am truly doomed. Well, that's a lie. I have... I have places to go. I just... I just didn't... Hang on. Let's see, we did that. We went into all these. What did the king guy want? His crown? We don't own one of those. And I don't plan on getting him one. I've got a jar that I can use to hold someone's stuff. Oh yeah, the, the dumbwaiter. I gotta go to the dumbwaiter. I dropped that in the kitchen. To the kitchen! To the kitchen now! No. I never went over here. Why didn't I fucking use the knife? Well, I, I don't care. I, I just don't care. I'm not gonna need this many bullets anyways. There's just too many in this thing. It's heavy. Grandma! Okay, look, Grandma's already dead. She's not gonna complain about the vase. She's already gone. But me, we're alive. Pantry King. Do I even want to let this guy out? 
All right, man. I'm gonna let you out of the hole. Don't be a bad person. <laughs> ah, you have found the key. Hurry and open the door. My collection is rotting away as we speak. Use the key to unlock the door. Finally, I can get back to work on adding fresh toys to my precious collection. You open the door and what greets you is the ghastly sight of mutilated bodies impaled on spikes. The pungent stench of rotten flesh bursts from the now open doorway and assaults your nose. Mysteriously, the keys disappear and there is no sign of the person that was locked inside of the room. Wow. Cool art, dude. Holy shit, look at that fucking dumpy. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. This is also locked. And the key to Hi, can I have that key back? This door, this chest is also locked and needs the pantry key. I, uh... It's locked. We're not getting in there. And you guys got the key? That person's dead. Dead. A young woman has been impaled on a wooden stake. Her expression is eerily peaceful despite the gruesome manner of her death. She's clutching a coin in her hand. Take it. Mine! <laughs> You pry the coin from her dead hands. A moment later, the, the anguished crying of a woman echoes throughout the pantry. And a cold chill runs up your spine as you sense a malicious presence in the center of the room. Ah! Jesus, there is someone there! <laughs> a fresh toy in my collection. Stop! We can't leave? What if I leave? I can leave. Do I want to? Now, let me take another look. I didn't get a good look at the guy. Stop! He's probably got the pantry key. How much ammo do I got? Where's my good gun? Locked and loaded. Infinite ammo, baby. Huh? That does damage! Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. I just... There was already damage on him. From when I hit him with the shotgun. Why don't you just die? Ow. I have to dodge this man's attacks. Did the game just get like loud too? I think I might have turned it up when I was doing the like the fucking chest bit and never turned it back down properly because it was hurting my ears. Okay, that's it. Oh, this does damage. Hold that thought. Thank you. End of the line, meat golem. End of the line, you disgusting freak. That was all over my face. That was all over my face and eyes. My eyes were open when he did it. <laughs> Thanks for the pantry key. Okay, well, I'm going to collect what is owed to me. I just did this for more dynamite and shotgun ammo. Well, I will use this to kill more animals, likely. I will use this to walk around menacingly. Oh, we got all these coins now. Okay, so what is this? An old farmer, tired from a day of hard labor, falls asleep under the shade of a tree while his loyal dog watches over him. Dog. 
tree. Old man. I'm in. I got the key to the club. Every mansion has one. Let's get to the club. Let's get upstairs and get to the club now. Kinda close to that fire with the dynamite? What are you scared? What are you what are you scared so this is gonna happen? I've got a steady hand. Perhaps one of the steadiest. Don't worry. My hands aren't shaky. I've never lost an operation the board game, not once. Ever. I got a steady hand. No! I take my mind. Help! Stop now! I just want to go in here, please. Just in here. Just, just a, just a, just a quick trip into this room. Yep. Oh. Yep. You use some pool. Two pool cues are positioned in a way that resemble clock hands. One cue is pointing towards a two, while another cue broken in half is pointing towards an eight. This is not clues. This is not clues. You can't be like, mmm, yes. Hmm, something here must be a hint elsewhere. It is a pool table with a broken cue on it. This must be the answer to the clock puzzle in the other room. Hmm, yes. Yes, I am a master detective. My character rolled like a fucking nat 20 in an investigation check in D&D, so the DM had to make up hints to give to the character where there wasn't even a mystery to begin with. I, it's like my character's walking in. I roll an investigation check on the room and like the fucking DM's just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, you see the fucking cues are pointing towards the clock numbers for the time. Outside it's a hint. It was like never a puzzle. There was never one here. That guy took a long, a long time dying. Wait a minute. There's a clock key in this room. Wait. Clock key in this room. Numbers on the... Billiards table. Uh, pool cues are. The shorthand is pointing towards a, a sh towards an eight, and the long one is pointing towards a. Oh, and it looks like it. Ah! And depending on the perspective you stand from, it kind of looks like a clock with clock hands. Ah! My head is in immense pain. I gotta get to the clock right now to solve this mystery once and for all. Hang on. What am I doing? I don't actually have to waste any time doing this. Uh, cause time pauses. Clock key. There is nothing there to use the item on. What? Go away. Let me try it from here. Yes. <laughs> I'm in. Huh. Now if I, if I remember correctly, I don't know if anyone took any notes back there in the... Billiard's room, but ah, ah, it was a the long one was set to uh, really. I'm in, baby. I'm in, baby. I'm in, baby. Yes, I got what we came for. I got the key, the club key. I just don't like that. No, yeah, it's dynamite. <laughs> Whether you are an NPC or an enemy, you will receive divine punishment. 
Form this dynamite. Enjoy. I want my dynamite back. Yeah, yeah, I'll walk up and talk to you. Yeah, yeah, this is what I should be expecting. There is a fleshy growth on the wall with a large hole in the center. A creature with glowing red eyes is peering out of the hole. Why, hello, stranger. Would you mind doing a favor for me? I don't know, last time I did a favor for someone in this fucking game, they turned out to be a meat golem. Who, uh, stuck people on big, uh, big spikes in their pantry. Sure. Oh, his hand is pizza. Thank you, stranger. I've tried asking others, but they would only scream and run at the moment I greeted them. How rude. You see, I am an avid collector of human heads. Ah. The tortured expression of death on their faces fills me with great joy. But my collection is flawed. I've recently realized that something is missing. All of the heads in my collection are male and I have no female heads. I wish to correct this imbalance. If you bring me three female heads and place them on the tray, I will provide a reward for your troubles. Oh, they all stopped talking for a second. What? Doesn't it get annoying that they all scream like that sometimes? Well, I guess I'll go grab some female heads. Lord William has been acting unusual as of late. He's been spending all of his time in the basement, and Lady Irma has fallen into a deep depression over his strange behavior. It seems to have started after he asked me if and a few other servants to install a wardrobe over a large hole in the basement. In the weeks afterwards, it's almost like he's become a different person, aloof and quick to anger. Lord William has ordered me, us to meet him in the basement again tomorrow night. I wonder what strange task he'll have us do this time. I guess I'm going to go collect heads for the strange hole man. Aren't there many of them in the kitchen? Yeah, I guess I'll just go into the kitchen. There's at least one dead female in the kitchen whose head I can collect. Unless he prefers zombie heads. I haven't seen many female zombies so far. I'm gonna save my game, it's been a little bit. The mostly infinite hole. It's just a deep hole, they wouldn't do. They, they, I don't think this game has the horsepower to do infinite hole. Or even mostly infinite. This is just a deep one. Hello, I'm here to collect, uh, some heads. Uh, no, no. Can I just take it? Take it. I will be borrowing this. I am a fucking psycho. I cut her head off. Thanks. I need this. Anyone else's? Look, I'm sure we'll stumble upon more females whose heads I can borrow later. Normal dude activities. They're dead, and she wasn't fucking using it. If she was using it, she at least would have looked more startled earlier. When she got, like, stabbed. Okay, so I'm assuming that she does not care about the head. Because she obviously wasn't putting much effort into her expressions to begin with. Okay. Okay. What did I get out of... Okay, hang on. Key items and keys. I have the spade key now, which means I can go over yonder. Let's go do that. Yeah, if she was using the head to do anything, she would have been like, hey, don't take my head when I tried to take her head. So we can assume that she was okay with lending it to me for now. Look, it's cool because I'm probably going to get one stick of dynamite from this, which I'll then use for like a funny joke later. Or like even like not even a joke, just using it for nothing. It's for the best that I have it. All right. Into the new corner of the... Wow, that was fast, really? Already? 
He's doing a fake out maneuver to try to stop me from shooting him in the head with a shotgun. It's funny that they ragdoll only once their animation to fall over has fully ended. And it just results in their body kind of like hitting the ground and then like just like jiggling a little bit when they land. Alright. Health drank. Cabinet, apparently I could open these. Didn't know that. Good to know for the future. Oh, I found the meat wall. It's made, it's a wall made out of strangely fleshy growth. Maybe I can dissolve it with something. Yeah, we're not getting into the meat wall just yet. Chris Omorpho, thanks for the three gifted subs. We're gonna need a bomb. I don't like this. Oh, the crown. Hexagon shape, I need a hexagon shaped hole to get the crown. I need a hexagon. Although, that's an octagon. Was this also an octagon? Wait a minute. Hey, wait a second! That's not a hexagon at all! That's an octagon! Do you take me for a fool? Hole in the very middle. Oh, the uh, oh the tiny one. I guess you're right. Son of a bitch. He's right. And that one's square. Looks like my bad eyes have finally gotten the better of me. I'd like to make a formal apology to the dev of this game. I'm dying. Which is why I make mistakes. Sometimes I just... My eyes just aren't what they used to be. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? I'm just gonna run up and kill him. Hang on. What did he say? Ha ha ha. He said something. He's laughing. What the hell does he find so funny? Nisi Dominos, me also from here. Nisi Dominos. He has a gun! Oh, Jesus! He's actually shooting to kill me. He's trying to gum me down. I dare you to turn this corner, pussy. Ow! Well then. I believe I shot off both of his arms and his head with the same shot. Now take down his friend from downrange. Yep, he knows I'm here now. Nice aim. Yeah, you're just a you're just a person. You can't take bullets. Time to double tap him before he comes back up as a zombie. He's done. This guy's finished. Jesus! So that's where all the fucking mimics from Elden Ring went. They got put in this one. Miyazaki lent them to another fucking dev. Alright. Whatever. Fuck this. Alright, jackass! Well, I kind of felt bad. I'll be taking that. It like starts screaming when I shot it. Well, I'm now shooting every chest I see. Just 
square shaped hole here. Not getting in there anytime soon. And then there's inevitably a secret fucking but like book in here that opens the secret door. You know it. I know it a mile away. Hang on, I'm just gonna do like a quick like Thief 2 style sweep. Apparently not. Which means I just missed it. And there's definitely one there. I just missed it. What about up here? Come on, we fucking know there's a secret book on this goddamn wall. Opens the secret door. Why is it else does this fucking library exist? I refuse to accept this. Huh. I forgot there are zombies in this game because I've been like... Just blasted with so much other shit in the last fucking 12 minutes. Shape of a diamond. We need a diamond shaped key for that room. Yeah, this is a shotgun room. Hello? Oh. I'll open the one that's not bloody, thanks. Cool beans. Oh. This person is guy getting stabbed by uh, many people. Hey, where's your fucking head? <laughs> I need that! The decapitated body of a middle-aged woman lay sprawled on the top of the bed. A trail of blood is leading from the body to the bloody wardrobe. That scared me. That guy's, like, face. It looks kind <laughs> It's kind of like the fa- It's kind of just like the, the basic average face I make when I'm not streaming. I'm just, like, watching, like, a YouTube video. Like, full recline. Staring at the fucking screen. That's my resting face. What's this? Tear stain note. What has happened to my husband? It's almost like William has become completely different. Now he even spends his night down in the basement. I can't remember the last time we slept in the same bed together. We barely even speak to each other anymore. Even more worrying, some servants have gone missing and strange things have been happening around the manor. Just last night, I heard a horrid breathing sound coming from the wardrobe. It kept me up all night. I tried to tell William about it, but he just ignored me and walked away. I'm beginning to fear for my life. I can't live like this anymore. Hey, that's poison. Let that be a lesson to you. Wait, hang on. If you're a good person, tell me if there's something inside the wardrobe. That was my last shotgun shot. <sighs> well, I got a lot of pistol. All right! It's locked. Well, I'm out of here. Shit, please don't cuss in my chat, please. Please don't cuss. That toilet's, uh... Oh. I stepped on one of them. Okay. The toilet is clogged with disgusting filth. The stench coming from it is extremely pungent. You notice that there's something stuck in the toilet. Reach in and get it. It's going to be like you got one stick of dynamite, is what it's going to say. It's not going to be like you got the key you need to finish the level. You got, like, the fucking treasure that gives you, like, god powers. It's going to be like you got fucking one magazine of pistol ammo. Are you happy, you filthy fuck? Are you happy, you nasty freak, that you, like, stuck your whole hand into the dirty toilet? Like, this is, like, West of Loathing spittoon bit, truly. I'm, I'm guaranteeing it. I'm going in. I got the square, the, the square crank. Cool. Dude, I got like 
I gotta take a solid drink of water and then go to the bathroom because I'm like neglecting my bodily functions. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, apparently my voice was not as good as I thought it was because I'm already starting to struggle. My my throat is already starting to struggle a little bit. Well, I'm definitely going to be able to make it through this game before I stop. I wish my gun was better. How many shots is it going to take before you stay down? I don't think I need to spend those last two. I wish you were better, angry face. I wish you were better! <laughs> Skeleton! Store's locked. I need to unlock it with a lockpick. You think I have time? There is it! I'm in. Save, I can finally save my game. I got more shotgun ammo. Let's roll. We got the square key, so that means we can open plenty of stuff now. Good one, boss. That, you know what's actually, I think, the worst fucking thing? Like, I think that's, that's the new most toxic thing someone can say. Is, good one, boss. Like, just the most, pa just the fucking worst thing. Is when you make a joke and someone says, good one, boss. Good one. You really showed him. Where is it to my square thing? Okay. Guess I'll get this one first. This should answer all of our questions, every question we've had since we arrived here in the Nightmare Room. It didn't fucking do anything! What happened? Well, I mean, I can push these guys. Specifically this one. I guess I can move this forward. But for what purpose? Ah, yes, now I see. Now I see perfectly what I must do. Yes. And now I need this hexagon shaped hole. Probably. It's the only one that can be pushed around anyways. I mean, it's gonna go back to where it was, but whenever I have the right thing, I'll be done. What a pain. Yeah, that was really a pain for me. That really... That, 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 that was, that was true. Why is this one... Someone, like, scribbled all over this. And, like, put a goblin on it. <laughs> look, there's the goblin's nose and the goblin's ear. It doesn't look like it was supposed to be there. Goblino. You, you think the uh, cultists from before have respawned? No. At Tomato, I see Peter Griffin. What are you talking about? I saw Peter Griffin in that one. 
Hang on, let's do another, let's do a double take here. You're telling me that right there looks just like the guy, the world famous guy from Family Guy? <laughs> it actually is. No, it doesn't. That's him. That's Peter Griffin. I'm <laughs> moving on. I'm not gonna let you guys fucking like derail my stream to like a hijacked bit from another streamer. I won't let you fucking do it. Fuck you. Go to hell. I'm taking control of this stream. I grab the fucking. I grab the wheel and I swerve us into the oncoming lane. No, we're not going on that exit. We're going this way. Okay, so what's the ingredients I need for this? Hang on, hang on. One second. Acid recipe. Lanolim, Odizon, Aquaverum. I hope they're in that order properly. Lanolim. Odizon. Aquaverum. I need my jar. It's time. This acid will allow us to get past the weird slime. Did I really need a whole machine to just like grab like a fucking spoon and mix those three things together? Well, I've got a jar of acid. Lettuce. What is, is this even supposed to be? Because that's supposed to be like lettuce or cabbage, I think. I think the spoon would melt, tomato. A metal spoon! It doesn't have to be like a wooden spoon. You guys are, you guys are stupid. Acid melts metal. Dude, I'm carrying this thing in a fucking jar. And it's glowing green. What are you talking about? Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to transfer this thing if it melts everything. It's glass. Do you see the green on the fucking border, you little freaks? It's dirty. In my head cannon, we made that jar out of fucking Play-Doh. All right, it was made out of Play-Doh. That's my, in my head cannon, the lore that I just decided this game was made out of fucking Play-Doh. All right. How did, it, how did we carry the acid all the way here then? In my head cannon, how did we carry the acid? Huh? In my head cannon, you're funny. Going upstairs. <laughs> Whoa, it's Peter Griffin, no way. <laughs> How does this? I thought I cleared this hall. We move on. Wrong room. That's the haunted room. We don't want to be in that room. That room is haunted. We want in this room. This is the not haunted room. Oh. Damn! I was gonna probably do that to him. But with a shotgun. I assumed this would be a boss fight. Good one, boss. I didn't even make a joke, man. I'm just saying things. Time that person out. <laughs> so Don't time them out. But do give them a stern talking to. On my behalf. 
I got a suicide note. To my dearest Lucy, I know this letter will probably never reach you, but I had to at least leave something behind if only to give me a peace of mind before I do what must be done. I don't know how many days or weeks it's been since I've been trapped in this horrid place. I remember falling asleep beside you only to wake up in a nightmare, a nightmare that never ends. As I sit here, I prepare to take my own life. I wonder if I will, will finally awaken to find myself next to you in bed, or I will enter my eternal sleep never to see you again. I love you, Lucy. Pray for me. So this is the person that also woke up here like I did. Hey, dude, did you seriously get stumped by the fucking billiards puzzle? Is that why you ki This guy killed himself because he got stumped by the puzzles so far. He got, he got stunlocked by the puzzles in this place. Imagine this being too hard for you. You couldn't get the fucking acid puzzle done. You just had to... You didn't understand how to do the coin, like the dog, tree, and guy puzzle? Analog clocks are hard. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny, Tomato. Do you guys just want, like, an absence of all, like, any fucking effort stream? Because that's what you're fucking cruising towards, man. I just won't bother. Yes. Alright. Oh, the cabin key. Go ahead and save the game. Let's get down to that cabin. <laughs> so a normal stream. Activating my you're activating my streamer rage, dude. <laughs> you're gonna make me go into crazy mode. Carefully might attempt to snap a DVD on us. I'm going into... I'm activating my doing rage. You have no idea how powerful I'd become if my eyes weren't constantly using all of my latent extra brain power in order to process these colors. Okay? The colors all around me. No idea how strong I'd be if I turned off all the reds and greens on my monitor. I'd destroy you. Oh, we're good. You see a drunken man drinking from a bottle. His eyes are sunken in, and there's a haunted, tired look on his face. <laughs> I see that this horrid place has claimed yet another victim. Before you ask, I have no idea what this place is or how I got here. I'm probably the same as you. Woke up here after trying to go to sleep. <laughs> after getting chased by some rabid dogs, I managed to escape into this cabin and lock myself in it. I imagine my surprise to discover that the cabin was filled with boxes of booze. <laughs> if I'm going to meet my end in this place, I definitely don't want to be sober when it happens. The drunken man pauses to take a drink from his bottle. <laughs> Someone tried to get in earlier, was slamming the door, begging to be let in. I ignored him. No way I was going to open that door with all those monsters outside. Pretty sure those dogs got him. <laughs> the horrors. <laughs> 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 The horrid screams as they ripped him apart. Like a squealing pig, he sounded like this. I was hearing that outside the door. I didn't open it. I'll never forget that sound, that horrible sound he made as he was ripped to shreds by the sound like. I'm probably next. At least I have these booze bottles to keep me company before I die. But like, what was... Wow, this guy was really all set. The hexagon crank. Huh? Huh? Hey! I already... 
I already shot him and he didn't do that. Why? I can't count when you did it. I was going to stand right here and wait for him to come around the corner and kill him. Hello? Remember, he's just a guy. If I shoot him with my gun, he'll die. Ow! All right. Drop the weapon. All right, now I don't think he's going to shoot it. We're good. No, drunken man. He's dead. R.I.P. Drunken man. R.I.P. I need to save my. I need to heal and save. I need more heads. <laughs> I need more heads of women. Oh no. Looks like they found me. Looks like the cultists found me. Ow, oh, fuck, these guys have good aims. They're quick. Ow, Jesus! Stop! That's it, I'm approaching. I'm getting involved. These cultists remind me of the uh, cultists from uh, Blood. The ones that yell like, blah, 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 and then they like shoot you a bunch. For some reason, they remind me of those. Did he? I, I just, I just love that game, dude. That's what they yell. That's what I know. Clutax Claw. <laughs> Clutax Claw! And then they run up to you and they get immediately shot by you one time and they just start screaming and screaming. I remember it like it was yesterday. God, Blood's such a good game. Uh, where am I going now? I just got the hexagon crank so we can finish the, the night puzzle now. Is that where the funny noise is from? Blood, uh, Blood's got a lot of funny noises. Blood, um... Blood's, like, honestly, I think my... Of those old-school shooters, I think Blood's my favorite one. Like, from that era. I think the maps were fucking awesome. The weapons were awesome. It was, like, the most intriguing, because I liked... I loved that, like, like fucking... Like, demon... Sh like, the shit that it was doing was just... It was just great. I love that one. Of, like, the old boomer shooters. Yeah. Ultra kill though, that is not a boomer shooter. Slowly blinks both eyes. <laughs> Slowly blinks eyes, losing faith in the world. That That's like asking about dusk. <laughs> it's not the sh they yeah, it can't yeah, it's like them, but it came out in 2017. They are not the same. What are you, some zoomer? <sighs> Wait, I need... Oh, I see now. Yes, this all makes sense now. I bet that guy blew his brains out because of this puzzle. This one was hard. This one stumped me for a second. I bet, I bet that guy fucking took himself out because he couldn't figure out this one. Tomato's just mad he's getting old. I'm still young and spry. I'll be taking this. See ya later.
LMAO, that's what old people say. Anyone can say anything, that means nothing. Young people don't use the word spry. I, dude, I used the word spry all the time when I was young and spry to remind people that I was young and spry and I'm still young and spry, which is why I still use the, the terms young and spry. All right, go to hell. Just because you're zooming doesn't mean you have to fucking- I'm zooming right next to you, dude. Check the lane- check the lane next to you. I'm still up there zooming too. Check again. I'm zooming. You're doing 90 on the highway, I'm doing 85. I'm zooming. Okay. Say it, don't spray it. Shut up! You're <laughs> zooming in the passing lane. Oh my god. Come on, dude. <laughs> Give me something. Give me something. <laughs> I'm dying. It's killing me. Yeah. Cool crown. Did I just did I just get locked in? Huh? Huh? <gasps> Gotta get the archer first. I'm sorry, are you just a Oh, they're bosses, they have health bars. Stop! Stop! Ow! I'm fine. And that'll never happen again, you two. Sure do wish I packed my dynamite to help me with dealing with these guys. Oh my god, you're fast now. Stop. Ow. I can't like see. I need my stamina back now. I'm gonna run out of fucking ammo. Ow. And I think I accidentally drank two potions at the same time, which also didn't help me. But. I can just kill sword guy. If I could just kill one of them alone, I'd feel pretty good. I just want one left. And I can kill him with knives. Can I sidestep them? I think I might have enough. Oh yeah, you can sidestep. Okay, you can kind of sidestep. I'm gonna have to- No! Ow, I'm alive. How'd that happen? Truly doesn't make any sense. All right. Let's do this mano y mano. Ha! 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 He did a horizontal swing. Didn't know they had those. I didn't know they had those. Well. I saved. We'll be okay. Um, I wish I had more shotgun ammo right about now. Do I have anything that I haven't opened? There's an impaled body that still has like a red border around, which makes me feel like I have something I can still loot in it. Somehow. <laughs> I don't think I do. Should I deliver this head? Maybe they'll give me like an early prize. Look, the reason I died was because I accidentally drank one too many potions earlier. I needed to save one. 
I, I swig too many. We'll be okay. Why do you have a head? I'm, I promised I would give three uh, women's heads to a monster inside of a hole in a, a random bedroom. I know, it sounds made up, but it's real. It actually happened. Is this before I grabbed the fucking crown? It is. I don't have the crown yet. Damn it! Let's reload. This was before I did the, the puzzle. Remind me to save once I get it. If I don't immediately say I'm going to save once. You don't have to remind me. I think I'll remember. I think I'll remember. I do have the spinny thing, right? Yes. <sighs> Yeah, no problem, no problem. <sighs> Dude, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna stream tomorrow. <sighs> I think I'm doing something multiplayer with, uh, Sam, but I'm not sure. There's, uh, it's not a hundred percent guarantee. I want to do something before D&D. &D. Although, with how my voice has been, I don't even know anymore. Because, evidently, I've come to realize during this session of streaming today that I'm not as good as my, uh, throat led me to believe. Usually I go off of how, how good my throat is off of, uh, how much it hurts. He said, my voice doesn't hurt, I just can't really talk very loud. Hang on, I want to check these quick. Can I open these? No. Alright. Boomer throat. Dude, I streamed like fucking 18 hours earlier this week over the course of two streams. Like... That's fucking wild to me. I've streamed... I streamed more this week in two days than I usually do in a whole week. That's wacky. Like, I'm amazed I can... I'm amazed I'm actually streaming and doing anything today. And then I have D&D later tonight. No breaks. No breaks. Never. Ne never breaks. Dog's barking about something. Is my... Oh my god! My order is here! That's how I'll make myself feel better about, uh... My dog barking is I'll just assume that I have a fun order up there. And they're barking because they're excited. And not just barking because someone's walking by. My food is here! Ah, oh, that's exciting! Hell yeah! There's no... no the order doesn't exist. I didn't order anything. It's not true. <laughs> I, if I can just tell myself hey, there's a fun order upstairs for me, it'll make you feel better about my dog barking and like scaring me. Let's do this by the books this time. I want to shoot these guys with the shotgun. Immense damage on the guardian with the axe. Ow. Help. Hang on. I gotta be like focused when I do this. It's actually like kind of like a tricky thing. I can't miss. This guardian's almost dead. Alright, he's dead. Now it's this guy. He like that staggers attacks. Okay, yeah, we're good. Kill this guy, and now it's just me and the bow guy. I can kill him with I bet my bare hands. As a matter of fact. Ow. Maybe I shouldn't. A gnat just flew into my fucking mouth, dude. 
<laughs> My throat can't take any more of this night, please. <laughs> It sensed weakness in my body and straight up immediately went for my vocal cords. I could feel it. Oh! And then I think it... I don't know if it went out. <laughs> it could be alive anywhere in my body right now, like Osmosis Jones style, just kind of ripping it up in there now, dude. I really have no idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink water and hope it drowns. Die. I think it. I. I. What, whatever, man. My food arrived. <laughs> Stop. Stop now. Wish I had the dynamite right about now, you know what I mean? Oh my god, now it's fucking with me. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's a tiny little gnat. It's not even like a real... It's it's barely even alive. It might as well be a bunch of molecules that move fast. It's so small. It's nothing. Thanks for the calorie, idiot. <laughs> That's how I'll rationalize eating that bug. I needed that calorie. I'm going downstairs. I should have saved before I went downstairs. This streamer ate a gnat. Here's what happened. Dude, I've seen a fucking video like that where someone's like, this fucking person ate one pickle. And then they fucking died. Let's explain how that happened. <laughs> 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 Is that gonna be me? The gnat flew directly for the streamer's brainstem. It went straight for the brainstem. We've finally moved into the new manor. Irma was against it, but I managed to convince her. I'm sure she'll fall in love with this place in no time at all. It also helps that the price for the manor was dirt cheap, something about the horrific murders in the past and it being haunted. But I don't care. I was drawn to this manor from the first moment I laid eyes on it, almost as if it was calling out to me. I feel like no one should be allowed to buy a haunted house if they ever describe the reasoning behind it as it was calling out to them. Like, there should be, like, you should have to be, like, tested to make sure that you're not going to do stuff like that. Like... Like, I just feels like you shouldn't be allowed to sell haunt, like, for sure murder places to anyone that says the manor was caught. I, I, I had a connection with this spiritual place. Don't. Don't say things like that. How big is this place? Anyways, big. I see. I'm doing more damage with the pistol. I don't know if it's placebo, but it feels like it lately. Chains are holding it closed. I could probably cut the chains or something like this knife. <sighs> Whatever. Pistol is always the best weapon. No, it's just doing more damage. Let's not give it any credit. The fuck was it? What is that sound? I'm hearing slime. I think it's dogs. Uh, I don't have any dynamite. No, nor shotgun ammo. That one's dead. Bird! Bird! Don't you fucking decoy! And once again, they have red evil eyes. They shouldn't have glowing eyes. And they were also eating a person. 
and they and they also stole his clothes. This bloody wardrobe is also locked. Looks like we're not getting into any of these wardrobes. I just got here and got a Pizza Hut ad. Dude, the ads, they always fucking listen, man. They they know everything about you, dude. They, they, they know it all, man. They know that this stream says pizza on it. And thus, they will provide what their intense, incredibly, incredibly powerful AI tells them to. Which is, it saw pizza, so it shows pizza. Truly, the future is here. It sent you a pizza ad. While I was talking about pizza in the title. I don't want to mess with that. Pizza Hut sucks had to be said. Four exclamation marks. They're that passionate about it. Look. All right, chat. Everyone knows. Here's the rules of pizza. If I find out you've got a nice mom and pop pizza place near you and you fucking choose to give your money to Pizza Hut or Domino's or Little Caesars, I hate you. <laughs> that is my objective statement. I hate you. <laughs> I do not like you. The local one is bad, though. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm talking about an actual good restaurant. Or, like, a good pizza place, not garbage. If it's garbage, obviously, the story's different at that point. But a good mom-and-pop pizza joint? You've got a place that's good? And you're telling me you ordered Domino's? I hate you. I don't like you. You can't fool me. You're not dead. I fucking knew it! Oh my god, where are your clothes? Stop! Stop. The knife is bad. Dude, stop. Okay. Oh. I won. I was going to shoot him. My ammo. I used so much of it here. When am I going to get more ammo? I'm running out of fucking bullets in this video game. This is getting bad. Didn't loot the sword. Y'all think I... I don't know why I didn't loot the sword. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I didn't think to steal, like, any of the medieval equipment from the fucking place. <laughs> This guy just flashed his ass at me, and I can't get by him. Do I, do I reset? So I'm gonna try to get- I just want to get by them. I kite them- there's two of them, I can't- I gotta kill one of them. Sir, please. Okay, I'm gonna kite this guy over here, and I'm gonna sprint by him as fast as I can. There's another around the corner. Oh my god! Get by him! Ow! Ow! This, uh... This was a bad scene. This this place is a bad scene. The elevators? I mean, I didn't even get any loot out of this place. Hang on, I'm gonna go collect the halberd uh, as a weapon. Hey. Can I get one of your blades? One of your legendary blades. China, I'm not suiting in your weapons. It looks like I'm on my own.
they despawned because obviously this is like an escape room they have to set up for the next guest that's coming into the nightmare so uh obviously they can't all wait here forever while i just stumble around they had to get ready for the next guest i understand i understand though now i am immensely set back by uh just the death i just took you know i did need to kill those dogs though that would save me some ammo I definitely didn't need to kill those dogs because all that was over there was like a bloody wardrobe that I won't be using. So I think we just avoid the dog room. This is literally the dog room. We're not doing the dog room yet. There's just no reason. So we're going this way and maybe this time we won't go into the sewers yet because that place sucked. I'm also kind of inclined to just avoid certain zombies because uh... Ammo. Not doing good. There's multiple. Easy. <laughs> How y'all feel about a Cry of Fear remaster? Please no. There's already been enough Cry of Fear. There does there's no more need. There's no need for another one. It's uh you can experience Cry of Fear in its perfect state already. There's no need to remaster it. Cause that's the meat. Oh, don't I have acid? Oh. I need more acid. We have to go and make more acid so that I can melt this place. You think I would have saved some? Cry of Fear is impossible to play multiplayer now? Nah, nothing's changed since the last time, I'm guessing. Uh-oh. I didn't- Look, it's just a bitch, but it's it was a bitch back when it came out, too. I blew it. I'm never getting the 10! Never mind. Dude, I forgot I'm fucking really good at these. Missed the four, but I never had the chance. I didn't have the time. Please! 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 I have to get the high score. Move! I'm trying to get the clock! Easy gig. Never mind. Oh my god. How does he do it? How the hell does he do it? Why did I chase it? I'm not supposed to chase it. Just wait for it to cross my crosshair. It's far easier. I don't need to chase him. Oh my god, the four is blocking my clock. How much do I even need to win? I don't really want to, like, overkill it. We're probably good. But then again, last time, we were only up by, like, 50 points, which wasn't a lot. I'll run it. I'll do it all the way. Besides, then I'll look like a real badass when I win. Imagine if I got the 300. I might. If I don't miss the next clock, I'll... Yeah, I might get the 300. No! My 10! No! Easy. I have to get to 300. I will. No matter what. Easy. 304. No. 314. 320. 324. 328. 334. No! Ah. Uh, well, I, I almost beat it by fucking 100 points. So that's not bad. 
And now we got plenty of ammo. Nobody in the history of ever has ever scored a score as high as that in this game. Magnum ammo. Yeah, we're pretty much due another gun. Clear out of this pack. Good old fashioned. Overall, though, I do really like this game. It's a nice, like, older school kind of horror game. Especially as someone that didn't really play many of the older school Resident Evils, it's nice playing, like, a slower-paced kind of one. This door is black. Though knowing my luck, the magnum was probably given to me by the head guy. And I'm missing the head. I'm missing two of the three heads I require. Resident Evil without tank controls is pretty... Yeah, it's... it's I'm having fun. Absolutely obliterated. Oh yeah, I probably want to shotgun this. Let's do this quick! I want to be in this section. There's something over here that I want that I, I should check. Oh, fucking Christ, that guy was durable. That was a mag. That was a fucking mag for this guy's head. The zombies in these games fucking cheat, though, dude. I know it's like this in the old Resident Evils too. They, they fucking cheat. They don't. They don't follow the rules. Yeah, I missed some of those. Those were my fault. Why are the naked ones so strong? Clothes just hold you back. They weigh you down. Dude. I have burned through so much ammo just unloading on these guys without letting the crosshair zoom in. And it's really starting to cost me. Thank God I stopped. And got more ammo from that fun game. Thank God. No, oh, Jesus! Yeah, that's that snapshot right there. Locked on. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. You're not supposed to walk into this room. I think I'm dead. <laughs> I think with this, I'm dead. Like, walking in here, I see... This is like what happened when those guys, those, like, fucking people at Chernobyl found, like, the elephant's foot. I open the door, and I look at this, and I see the elephant's foot in the corner, and I go, Ah, oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's over. Do I have another jar? I no longer have a- I, I actually destroyed the jar. I don't have a way to hold this. Oh. Nice. Everything we need. Got another jar of acid. I dip my whole hand into scoop it. I collect some beautiful green slime. I gotta save my game. It's been a little while since I've saved. Why am I wasting the time? Go upstairs. Leave. Then am I. Ooh, save. We do need one. It's been too long. I don't have a bolt cutter. I should not have gone this way. Excuse me. Move. Please. 
I'm just gonna kill the last guy. I was gonna try to run by him, but I don't think he's gonna. God damn you! Naked ones are infinitely more durable. I think the bullets get a little bit nervous when they get around naked people. Think about it. Maybe the bullets get a little bit shy and they slow down, like they're a little uncomfortable. Maybe that's what it's always been. Mm, yes. All right. Bolt cutters, we got what we came for. We can finally move on. Finish this. We're gotta be near the end of the game now. I don't remember this game. The game said it was only like two hours long at normal difficulty, so. I should be nearing, because I, I play like an idiot. So, um. Wait, where's the stuff that was chained? Was it only this? No, that's that's changed. It's just not showing it. The door over here is supposed to be chained, even if it, even if it's not red. That's three hours from Mild Tutin's. Gotcha, you fucking funny. That's fucking killing. It. Good one, boss. I didn't make that joke. I didn't even make that one! You can't good one, boss, if it wasn't even mine! Hello? <laughs> yeah, that's an evil laugh. That's two evil laughs. Do I just fucking assume the worst immediately? No, I made this mistake last time. <laughs> I should have blown her up with a fucking dynamite stick when I had the goddamn chance. GET OFF OF ME! SHE'S GONNA KILL ME! You... are gonna regret the day you fucked with me. Because I don't wanna tell you this, but I'm collecting women's heads to give to some weirdo. And now that I've confirmed you are in fact a woman, you're done! You're gonna die by my hand! I need your head though! So I gotta aim for center mass. It's the body of an insane woman. Even in death, she has a mania- a manic smile on her face. Remember that the creature in the hole wanted female heads for its collection. Take it. That's mine. Thanks. Damn. Well, hey. Just one more head. We now have two. <laughs> Chat, are we the baddie? It's all a dream, chat. None of this matters. None of this is real. Not one thing happening today is real, chat. It's all a dream. It's all dreams. Wait, I have a crowbar now. New melee weapon. Oh my god. Why? This changes everything. Doesn't help my asthma. Doesn't help my asthma at all. Okay. I know where I'm going. Let's hope it doesn't suck eggs. It truly can't be worse than the survival knife. I refuse to believe a single weapon can be worse than the survival knife. I think we can all be in agreement on that. There's nothing worse than that. I might as well be hitting people with like a fucking noodle. Like a pool noodle. Uh, bolt cutters. I'm in. This is, uh, looking like one of them, uh, boss rooms. Yeah, this is looking like a hole you jump into, and then a scary guy- Climb down the rusty ladder! Why would it ask me that? That's strange. No, I don't want to. Not yet. Is there anything over there? Staircase, what looks to be blocked. 
Yeah, I'd love to climb down the rusty ladder. Thanks for asking. That's not a woman. I need a woman's head. This is not helpful. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so it follows Resident Evil rules in that if uh, the guy with the chainsaw touches me, so much as touches me, I will be cut in half. Now we know. No shotgun ammo. Best tool I got is my dynamite. Ah! I only mildly stunned him. Oh wait, hang on. Ah! Oh my God, look at how much health he has. Hi. Can I trick him into, like, doing something stupid? This is bad news. This guy's bad news. Okay, dynamite's not helpful because it didn't even do any damage to him. Uh... No point wasting the dynamite on it, then. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, be fairly, son. Don't do that to me. I haven't played that game. I don't know that reference. I truly don't understand references for things I haven't played. Okay, that just hurt me. I think I was supposed to get him to hit that or shoot it to stun him. And instead I hit it with a fucking crowbar and electrocuted myself, injuring myself, and then he cut me in half. All right, I got it this time. Pistol out. I'm gonna handle this. He's down! Okay, I can do about 50%. Dude, it's fucked up because you can't go into your menu if he's cutting you. So I can't be like, stop and then heal. I just get cut. And I also can't reload because he's, he catches me because reload slows you down. Just like Resident Evil. I got it this time. Watch this. Stop. Reloading? I'm only going to have two of these, huh? That hurt me, but I'm okay. Save one bullet. We might need it. Now what do I do? Is there another one? There's stuff, there's stuff, it, they're back on. Wait, it's back on. It's not over yet. Crowbar, go! This is my strongest weapon. Okay, I'm gonna go heal. I mean, I'm gonna go grab whatever's inside this room. I'm exhausted. I fucked up so bad. I fucked up actually so bad. I'm okay. I did like a micro dash. I'm alright. Ah! Dude, it's the... See, the thing is, you see, the thing is, in Resident Evil, 
when the guy's doing his crazy chainsaw thing in like the older games when someone's doing something like that you can see behind you because it's, it's like a third person game and you can be like ah yes I need to evade this my guy is just kind of like <laughs> I don't know what's going on and he just gets ripped up just gets ripped up that's why I'm bad can't reload yet. It's like, yeah, I have time. Go, go, go. Save one bullet just in case there's not actually pistol ammo in there. Heal. We're not gonna do damage this time. We're just gonna activate the generator. Should be up again this second. Right? Generator turn. Fuck! <laughs> That's not good, chat! That's not good at all! My, my, my. I'm reloading. <laughs> it ought to reload it, dude! <laughs> New plan. I have a new plan. Get a load of this one, because you're only going to see it once. I'm going to get the ammo before I start killing the guy. That way, I'll have a guarantee that the hardest part of the fight is out of the way. That was a test run. I was testing the RNG. The RNG was bad. I could tell from his walk animation that he had to be reset. That's why I died. It's a tactic. It's time for real. Gimme, gimme, gimme. He's got a 360 degree attack radius is something I just learned today ladies and gentlemen We will have to stun him with a generator to even get into the room So that's what we're gonna do I have to stun him Fantastic work king Dude this is It's unnecessary for you to say things like that and you know it Bloody wardrobe key. Oh my god. That's the key to the bloody wardrobe. That changes everything. Think this is ready yet? Nope. I need to heal. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Right, it doesn't even matter. No, it does, because if I blow myself up on the fucking generator, it fucking will, you idiot. Generator's back up, it's time. We got him right where we want him this time, chat. I'm not gonna reload because I'm scared. I'm reloading. And I'm saving two bullets in case I can't finish it. Oh my god. Ah! Generator's ready. I can finish this right here, right now. I just can't miss this hit.
End of the line. Fuck. I got him. Take the chainsaw. Take the chain. Character. Main character, take the chainsaw now. Please. We have no ammo anymore. That was all of our ammo, sir. Take the chainsaw. Take it now. It's out of gas. Ain't that a coincidence? I'm out of ammo. Oh, the generators are back on. Well, chat. I can, good news is, one thing I'm not out of that's very good at dealing with the dogs we have to get through to progress in this game right now is dynamite. So, all clocks that is a net game. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Unless one zombie cuts me off at any point during this walk. I'm not kidded to handle that kind of power. My loadout. My character's build can't handle any more zombies. <gasps> Unbelievable. The luck on this streamer. But I'm still gonna use the dynamite. Yeah. And now, to find out what's inside the bloody wardrobe. One of two. <laughs> Hull. Tougher than I thought, or maybe just lucky. Either way, I don't think you'll be able to survive much longer down here in these dungeons. Some truly monstrous beasts lurk around here, and I'm pretty sure one of them's gonna get you. I truly can't do the voice anymore. Good luck, stranger. You'll need it. Are you evil? I feel like he's evil. I need to go back upstairs because I want to open up the wardrobe that was up there first. I've uncovered a large man-sized hole on a wall in the basement. I crawled through the hole and was astonished to discover a massive underground dungeon on the other side. The dungeon may be thousands of years old, and I can just imagine the ancient treasures that lie within. I've ordered the servants to cover up the hole with a wardrobe and watch them as they worked to make sure none of them got curious and crawled through. No one else knows about the dungeon, and I plan to keep it that way. I hear, I hear whales. I'm going back. I'm going to do the, I'm going to get the wardrobe upstairs. Because I, you know what I know is in there? I know what's in there. It's going to be a person's head. And that will be the third head I need. And then I can give it to that nice man on floor two and get the magnum revolver, which will help me win the rest of the game. It's all so easy. It's all coming together. It's all landing exactly into place. The puzzle pieces, they're aligning. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's all coming together. Come. It's time to claim our destiny. Where the hell do I go? I believe the wardrobe was on the second floor. Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. I God, I cannot believe my... Someone just says Peter Griffin, smile. Shut up! That is a fucking extremely strange painting. Well, 
Lady? I have the key to unlock you. Chainsaw Psycho. Did I not already kill you? It's the crazy psycho with a chainsaw that attacked you in the basement. He's peering at you from inside the bloody wardrobe with a manic smile on his face. He doesn't seem to be hostile at the moment. Thanks. <laughs> we gotta get across the way to the creature in the hole. Rude? Guys, he cut me in half with a chainsaw eight times. What do you mean, rude? What do you mean, rude? Evaded. Evaded twice. Alright, let's co let's collect our treasure. This is a bounty, this is an incredible bounty that we've collected uh, on the house for the spooky hole eyeball man. Hey. Here's one head of an insane woman. Here's one head of a middle-aged woman. And here's one head of a young woman. Excellent! You brought me three beautiful female heads! Please wait a moment while I fetch your reward! If that's a fucking mimic, I'm hawking a dynamite in that goddamn hole. Thanks for your- Thank you for the head, stranger. Please enjoy your reward. Holy water, health drink, and magnum ammo for a gun I do not own. What does holy water do? Can we throw in to produce a divine explosion that deals massive amounts of damage to the unholy creatures of the nightmare? <clears throat> All right. Let's get back to the basement. Now. Now it's Castlevania. Yeah, this is one of those, uh, it's all a dream games as well, so, like, don't get too invested in the plot, all right? Don't get it, and matter of fact, don't get invested at all in the plot, all right? Because it's all a dream. It's all a horrible dream this character's having after, dr after eating a fucking pizza, a single slice that he microwaved for four and a half minutes. One slice, four and a half minutes. Don't forget it. He ate a radiated fucking microwaved pizza. That pizza should have been glowing. It should have been a solid block and glowing. We're going to the large hole. Who even reheats pizza anyways? Normal people. Normal people. People that are normal. Mods, I want you to create. I'm going to the bathroom, okay? I want you to create an unbiased poll for warm pizza versus cold pizza when it's leftovers, okay? If it's biased, I will be fucking mad if I look at those questions and one of them says, this option's for idiots, stupid morons. All right. I'm gonna get mad. Please and thank you. I'll be back.
All right. I'm already seeing some reactions from the chat. People are saying cold pizza is for serial killers. Cold, mmm, delish, hot, I'm stupid. Hey, hey, mods, but what's that, though? What's that, though? Even with your biased bullshit, looks like some people seem to agree. Looks like some people seem to agree. All right, with what I've been saying. You fucked up. And you got caught. And worst yet, you ain't even winning. An unfortunate day for you. <laughs> I would also like to place my own vote. I am. I did vote hot. I'm stupid. I, I will also join all of you in this battlefield. Yes. Into the hole! Wasn't there a safe point here? If I see a single monster, I'm going to immediately run away and save. I cannot confirm if that's a monster yet. Hang on. He's still doing an animation. I shot him in the back of the head, so it must not be a monster. All right, he did that. That was easy. He smashed his own face in against the wall. Well, you know what he isn't going to do then? Attack me and kill me. There's got to be a save point nearby. Let's just be extra careful. Wow, I'm good at shooting. Holy hell. Dude, that was badass. So far, the creatures of the night that I should be so worried about are very similar to the creatures of the upstairs manor. So far, it's not bad. One of these ways is going to give me a notepad. The other one is actual progression. Let's see. I don't want to be here. Wait, that's a notepad. <laughs> that fuck! Oh! Oh no. Right, 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 right. That was him! That was the fucking protagonist! I'd like to save my game. How many days has it been since I discovered this dungeon? I don't remember anymore. Irma asked me about what I've been doing in the basement, but there's no way I'll tell her. I won't tell anybody. This is my secret alone. Something caused me down here and I won't rest until I find it. I have the cellar key. He's been shot to death. No fucking shit. No shit. <laughs> this man's been shot until he died. Heard the sound of a cultist wandering around. Amazing deductive skills. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know it. Hey, you're alive. Oh my god. You see a heavily wounded man laying against the wall. He's just barely clinging to life. Please listen to me. There's a monstrous beast in the cave beyond that door. I tried to escape it, but it was too fast. If you see, don't try to fight. Just run. <laughs> Says someone who doesn't have holy water. <laughs> I'd like to see a monstrous beast handle the power of the holy water. Grenade, the holy hand grenade. How big even is this place? Oh my god. Is it you? He's fast. Help! Ow, 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 ow! Ow! Uh. Now we know. Now we know forever that that's a bad scene in the basement. I still just can't believe the protagonist got shot to death. Are you winning yet? 
I don't feel like I'll ever be winning because this whole stream is just like fucking hurt my voice so bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing. Although, I did win the pizza. Uh, the, I won the pizza vote. I'm officially now the president of pizza, which does make me feel better again. A little bit. Everyone knows it. I have a gun. I'm like, I'll be back. I'm just gonna load it and I'll be back. That's a big spider. All right, spider. End of the line. Help! Okay, it takes two shotgun shots to even kill. And I think I hear the sounds of more than one. Imamuero. Imamuero! Sanguis mio edivo. Sanguis mio redu. Malanak. Matalo. He just spat acid all over me, this fucking spider. I don't know if I want to fight. I don't know if I want to fight these spiders. It just feels like a bad time. I don't think I need to. I think I'll just go by it. Clue, ducks, clue! Hey! Bueno. What, you're gonna stop me with your fu- Oh, no. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Jesus! Well... This is why we pet the holy water. Be gone, demon of the night. Oh my god! Be gone, demon of the night. Holy shit. Hell. Guess I'll finish him off with the pistol. He has a lot of HP still. Can I have that shotgun? He webbed me. I don't want to use the other holy water, dude. Stop. Stop. Ow. Reloading. Get him. Be gone. Filthy beast. I have the silver disc. With this, imagine all of the circular locks I can open. Truly, this is the beginning of the end of this game with these powers. I will. Please, just. I don't even want to fight you, dude. Like, I don't even know why I spent the bullet. Stop it now. Thank you. Let's open up every circular door we see. My asthma is ridiculous, dude. Holy shit. I think he made it up. He look. The problem is we're in a dream, okay? So we're using dream rules for stamina, and that means I can run about a mile per hour at full speed. It's just trying to be realistic. First aid kit, cool. Lord Diary Four. There's something evil down here, and I fear that it has taken over my mind. The whispers tell me to commit horrible crimes to kill the others in the manor. They get louder and louder every day, and it's only a matter of time before I succumb. Forgive me, Irma. I have doomed us all. I just- I, I picked up the slab. The slab is mine. Won't be long now till we got exactly what we need. I need to save the game. There's no fucking way I'm gonna go into the next zone without saving my game. Turn the slab. Dude, that fucking episode was metal as shit, dude. That episode scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. I feel like it did for a lot of people. That episode fucked me up. 
Okay, I haven't checked either of these halls. Uh, what's the fuck's the point of this? Ah, uh, you know, that's my thief skills right there. It tells me secrets like this. That's how you make a lot of money in games like this. You gotta be observant. You gotta use your fucking eyes, chat. You gotta use your eyes. You gotta take advantage of everything around you. That's just a skeleton. That's not even a zombie. That was just a skeleton. What is this fucking Kingsfield? Gabe really has something for everyone. Here we go. This guy's dressed like completely normal. Everyone else has had like some like strange stuff going on. That guy's just dressed like he was hanging out today. Reloading. Ammo. Scarce. Zombies. Spongy. Not looking good. I know there's probably some in this green slime, but... God, we're gonna have to punch through all of them, huh? I don't want to spend the fucking holy... Okay. I'm, get I'm starting to feel like I want to, but I know I want to save it for the boss fight. Why did I try to split between them and, like, ah, uh, whatever. I thought maybe I could, like, one-shot two people at the same time, but I think I saw every single bullet hit the barrel behind them. Shotgun ammo, thank you. That makes you feel a little bit better. I'm going to guess at this point I missed the Magnum. And I will never have it. You're big. <laughs> okay. That fucking scared the absolute shit out of me. Dude, there's a half a foot of water. You can't just dive. Oh, they're fucking blocking me, those sh assholes, dude. Well, this is definitely going to be a holy hand grenade kind of situation, it feels like. But I would like them all stacked for it, if that's going to be the case. So I'm going to kite around this room for a little bit. This man's so fast. He's so fast. In before miss. I'm not gonna miss. I just don't think this guy can die considering his head regenerated. I don't want to waste any on him. This is for the zombies behind him. He's not that dangerous. Yeah. Well. Ah, you can't. You just sometimes you can't get a break. That's a little frustrating. These guys are fucking rock. They're, they're like rocks, dude. You can't push through them. Well, I saved pretty recently. It was after I got the first circle. Or so I had believed. Did I not save after I got the... Oh, I put the, I put the square in. That's why. I think I want to do that section last, then. I'm going to go get the stuff from the skeleton, though. I don't think I want- I think I want to do the sewer- the cellar last if it's gonna- Or just not spend any shotgun ammo on that guy now that I know the dark secret. Which is that he has, uh, no health bar. He's immortal. That may be the actual solution. Give me that. I wonder if I can one-shot a skelet- a zombie with, uh, the cr the crossbar. Crossbar. Crowbar, you fucking... What's going on with me lately, dude? I think I'm dying. 
I don't know words anymore. Look, let's save ammo. It staggers them, which is good. But I really doubt that it's doing much more damage than the knife. Oh, actually, it's three hitting them. Okay, let's do the let's do the crowbar. We'll save our ammo. We'll be here for a thousand years, but we won't spend as much ammo. Only a matter of time. Two down. I'm getting no more room in hell flashbacks. Same, dude. But in this, I'm a little bit less scared because I can't get infected, to my knowledge. Alright. We will use our shotgun for the next pack because I think we have to push through them pretty quickly before the monster gets, like, involved. We got ten rounds. Let's push through. Ignoring, ignoring mechanic. Excuse me. Lore. <laughs> I have to get the lore. Where the fuck am I? I think I found, like, the accidental side exit. But I didn't really want to. Whatever, we'll double back for that place I opened with the lever. Oh! Never mind, this is what I needed. Which means he's gonna... Hang on, can I read this quick? Mass murder at haunted house. Irma Herdshaw wife to prominent businessman William Herdshaw and their many living servants have been found murdered at the manor uh, known to locals as being haunted. The bodies of the servants were brutally mutilated, and Irma Herdshaw was found decapitated at her bed. William Herdshaw, the main suspect of this heinous crime, has gone missing and is believed to be on the run. Thank you. Ow! I'm fine. Bro, murder is scary. Why'd they put that in the game? I don't know. Fucking devs can be sickos, dude. Sometimes devs, like, don't realize that they're going too far. You know? It happens a lot. They just, like, they just keep going and going. They keep going, oh, I gotta push it further. And then they include stuff about murder. And I'm like, dude. Like, what's your problem? Chill out. What are you, a sicko? For a second I thought I heard one of them moaning, and I thought them, they were gonna get back up. Or that it wasn't even the same zombie. I thought one of the zombies replaced another zombie, it was just like faking it. Like faking being one of the two that was killed there. I didn't remember the cultist looking like that, and I was like, did he fucking move the cultist and like replace his body? That would be cool. No, it would be, it would be ridiculous, is what it would be. <laughs> It would be confusing and bad plot development. I wouldn't understand why that happened. We have one more tablet to collect, and then we finish this. It's just in the haunted section of the dungeon. With the scary fast monster. Okay, yeah, run away from the guy to see it. Blah, 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 blah. I got, I got it. I got it. It's that thing. Can I just shoot and kill it? That was not as strong as that guy. Wow, this is fucking... Alright, well, we'll just shoot and kill them. I think we'll just kill the scary monsters. They made it... That guy made it sound like it would be a lot more dangerous. I'm hearing, like, someone, like, playing Minecraft or something. 
Who is like picking, like using a pickaxe? That's actually like freaking me out. Like I don't feel good. What the hell's happening? Hmm. Once again, not what I was expecting. Thought it'd be like zombie miners. Skeletons training for war. I'm gonna not tell him I'm here. Save ammo. Let's just not tell him. I know there's items there, but we'll grab them last. You know something's gonna jump down and attack us right now. Yeah, knew it. Oh. Oh, eh? I packed for this. Hatsha! Don't ever fuck with me. All right, that's why I saved the extra. There's other skeletons now. They're also not that bad. They have shields though. Uh, well, there goes my grenade. Well. That rabbit was evil. It lunged right at me to kill me. But now we have its rabbit key. Key of the beast. Bet they reused the animations again. They wouldn't do that. Oh, I get a spare. I get an extra one because I did it. Nice. Cool. That was, a, that was fun. I, I liked that. That was... That was a that was a lovely little nod. And Magnum ammo for a gun I don't own. That's really good. Where was the Magnum chat? You can just tell me, because I know I missed it. Where was it? If you know. The suicide guy. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's too far back. I'm just not even gonna bother. Dude, I was just trying to be respectful of the body. Get it now. I don't think so. <laughs> That's a long walk in a game where I have horrible asthma and bad knees and lumbago. I've got the holy trinity of fucking- I got a holy hand grenade and dynamite. I'll be fine against a boss. I'll be okay. Although they keep giving me magnum ammo. <laughs> Look, I know what to do. You guys aren't gonna like it, but I know how we get up there quickly. Just give me one second. I'm going to activate my most powerful form. <laughs> I've always been speed. <laughs> you can call me Mr. Lightning Bolt. Fuck you. Yeah, now we got the Magnum. This is one of the strongest weapons in the game and we've packed every bullet. We're gonna be okay, Chad. We're gonna win this game. Respecting the body, huh? Dude. He didn't respect my time. 
All right. But I will say what does respect my time is cheat engine. I would argue nothing respects my time more than speed hack and cheat engine. Oh my god, dude. Sometimes you j this is this is legitimately healthy. Okay. Uh disable. Close. Back to normal. Save my game. We got our gun! Look at that! This is the speed the game wanted us to walk all the way back upstairs with. Just so you remember why I did that. Now it feels like molasses, doesn't it? To live like normals. To live like a normal person, doesn't- isn't it miserable? Isn't it awful? This is the way society wants you to move. Oh. Well, g gang, I think we're at the end of the game. Whatever's behind that door. Z. My dog wants me to stop now. What if there's something... What could it be? Dog's panicking. Everyone must die. I think I'll start with the servants and install the wardrobe over the hole. They know too much and may warn the others. My new friends in the dungeon offered to help me with the killings. Of course, I'll gladly accept it. My dog is angry. What's new, though? They've been very barky lately, dude. I like, think it's because it's, like, getting closer to the summer and, like, more people are, like, outside. Because when my dog sees motion, it's like, oh, yup, panic. Panic o'clock. There's an avocado, possibly, out there. Wait, is that? No. It can't be. The legendary blade. Oh. This isn't the last boss. I don't care if your name is Lord of the Nightmare. I know you got another guy after you. Ooh, that's not enough damage. That's not enough damage to slow my roll, bud. <laughs> I got 10 health drinks, dude. You're gonna have to do more. Yep. Yeah, we can be here all day. I know you're not the last boss. Don't even try to fucking fa- Is that a fireball? Stop. Ow. Stop throwing those. Stop. Thanks. Wow, the magnum, the magnum does a lot more damage than the shotgun does, huh? I'll use it again. Let's use it. Yeah! Magnum does a lot of damage, shit. Magnum does- it was good to go get the Magnum. It was very good to go get the Magnum. Holy shit. That was like a god gamer play to go get the Magnum. I'm gonna reload my gun, you're right there. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. The nightmare is defeated. Unless there's more. I knew it. I knew it! Or I'm gonna wake up in front of my. Damn it! It was all a dream. My stomach has finished digesting the pizza. What a terrible nightmare. You're covered in sweat and your heart is thundering in your chest as you get up from your bed. It's still the middle of the night and it'll be some time before the sun rises, but you don't feel like going back to sleep. Not after that horrific nightmare. Maybe a short walk outside and some fresh air will calm you down. Yeah, maybe I'll go outside and there's gonna be a fucking skeleton in like my sink or something. Think about it. I can use the pizza again, maybe. Maybe there's still some left. Is there anything wrong in my room? No, everything's... Toilet works. Seems fine. No more pizza. Don't go outside. I'm, I'm going outside. Cat, is that the fucking cat? Is that the fucking cat? 
I don't have my guns anymore. It's gone over there into that dark corner. You know, I played a game like this recently where I know a snake is probably going to eject from that dark hallway and try to eat me. I remember. What's up? All right. Okay, are we really just going in like that? Did you really think you could escape from the nightmare? Like, it's like I said in the beginning, no one ever escapes alive. Huh? <sighs> Unfair. I was gonna throw a fucking holy water right in his mouth, dude, but it didn't give me one. You have awakened from the nightmare, but the real nightmare has just begun. I like that game. It was simple, but that's really also the case with Resident Evil. I think uh, it was pretty much exactly the length it should have been. I wish that the stamina was a little bit larger, but that's obviously part of the design as well. I quite enjoyed it. What are the extra modes? Oh, it'd be an extras. I'm glad I didn't play on hard. Dungeon escape. Procedurally generated dungeon and horde mode. What? How the fuck does that work? You're trapped in an underground dungeon and must try to escape by reaching the surface and by leaving through the exit door on each floor. Equipment and supplies can be purchased between floors with credits earned by either killing enemies or looting from the dungeon. That's a fucking cool thing to have as like a little extra. This game also underutilized certain like stuff like darkness, so I think it's rad that they did something like this. Fuck yeah. It's obviously probably pretty bare bones in the grand scheme, but the fact that they included it as something in the extras is rad. I think that's awesome. But yeah, my voice is fucking tired as hell, Jet, so I'm done. Thank you for watching, gifting subs, donating bits, etc. I really appreciate it, as always. Uh, I will try to be streaming tomorrow. Obviously, I don't know if you noticed, I literally couldn't even do the high-pitched voice by the end of the stream, because turns out my voice isn't as good as I thought it was. Uh... So, I will, I'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try to stream tomorrow. I will actively attempt to do another stream. I'm going to send you all over to Brett, okay? Thank you for watching. If I missed your notification, I'm sorry, but, like, I, I have to stop talking. So, uh, I'll do a quick scroll through to make sure. I don't believe I missed anyone. Grimbo the Ooze, thanks for 500 bits. Hey, Tanto, sprained my ankle bad at work today, so I get the rest of the day off. You didn't happen to enact some kind of voodoo in order to gain viewership, did you? Because I gotta say, it worked like a charm. Sorry about your ankle. I have no comment. Smippo, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Is my name good enough? Your name is great. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Ryder Bully, thanks for the 600 bits. This should put me up into the upper 20% at least, right? Sure, whatever you say. Tyroo, thanks for gifting a tier 3 sub to Mr. Beast 6000. Follow Bird. Five digit subs as well. Thank you, Follow Bird. You. But let's be honest, with your criminal record, it almost feels like. It almost feels like an obligation, Follow Bird. Let's, be, let's both be honest. I'm gonna raid into Brett. Because I'm going to be over there on his channel in, uh. A smooth hour or 50 minutes or so. So if you want to catch me over there for D&D, I will be over there. And I will see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. ish EST. Unless I don't. But you probably will. Being realistic. I'll see you all at D&D. Goodbye.